are some significant things you think we should know about the history of African Americans in medicine? There's always been a, a challenge in this regard. I mean, this, this literally goes back uh, hundreds of years. And to be sure, um, what we see today in many ways in terms of disparities in health and health care is a vestige of trends that began um, uh, centuries ago in many ways, uh, certainly, uh, and have persisted um, through, the, through the 20th century into the 21st century. Well, you know, there are three historically black medical schools Morehouse School of Medicine, Meharry, and Howard. Charles Drew, we think of as an HBCU. And so just think about that, the fact that there are last year in 2017, 2018, 257 black males born in the United States who enrolled in medical school out of 21,000 students. And what I can guarantee you is probably 50% of those went to one of those four schools. Now, there are about 148 accredited medical schools in this country. And so if it were not for these historically black colleges or universities, then what you would see is few of, the, of those black men, I think, in medical school. This is a challenge, and this is why we need to ensure that diversity, for example, exists within the healthcare professions. Uh, so that when you're seeing a patient, you identify with the patient as your grandmother, as your sister or brother, um, your uncle, uh, somebody that you, you care about.